So it's been pretty quiet regarding the whole Elon Musk drama and him trying to buy Twitter. He's been actively trying to not buy Twitter now for whatever reason he comes out with. Obviously, there's different reasons that he has spoken about, one of which he's very adamant over the fact that Twitter has a multitude of bots that they refuse to admit are real. And we see it all the time on Twitter and we see it on YouTube, too, to be honest with you, where we see a ton of bots. You know what I mean? We see people literally posting the same exact thing. And these bots are basically like used by certain companies to push a message online to make it seem like the reception for one thing is probably better than it actually is. There's a whole bunch of weird conspiracies that you can go into regarding using bots. But at the end of the day, nobody can definitely deny that bots don't exist because they do. Now, Elon Musk is very adamant that the amount of bots is much higher than Twitter is actually trying to let on. But recently, there's been a security claim made from a supposed whistleblower that China and India both had agents that were working um, for Twitter, which is interesting because they tried to say that, you know, your data is safe and they're not going to sell your data or put your data out there, whatever. But then they have other countries that literally have access to your data by using Twitter. So it's very interesting. So we're going to get into the article, guys. But of course, before we do, if you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you think of today's story, and let's get into the video, guys. All right, guys, today's article comes from, from AP News, and it says, Whistleblower, China and India had agents working for Twitter. Let's make this a little bigger so you guys can read along with me. Washington AP, Twitter's former security chief, told Congress Tuesday that there was at least one agent from China's intelligence service on Twitter's payroll and that the company knowingly allowed India to add agents to the company's roster as well, potentially giving those nations access to sensitive data about users. These were some troubling revelations from Peter Mujizatko, a respected cybersecurity expert and Twitter whistleblower who appeared before the Senate Judiciary Committee to lay out his allegations against the company. Zatko told lawmakers that social media platform is plagued by weak cyber defenses that made it vulnerable to exploitation by teenagers, thieves, and spies, and put the privacy of its users at risk. I'm here today because Twitter leadership is misleading the public, lawmakers, regulators, and even its own board of directors, Zatko said as he began his sworn testimony. Now, what are the chances of this being true? I would say it's probably very, very high. Listen, Twitter is trying to protect its image no matter what. We know that, okay? Twitter will, de will definitely try to die on the sword protecting its image no matter what, especially when they are trying to force Elon Musk to basically go through with the deal. They are literally in a lawsuit battle right now amongst each other, and they're trying any which way to try to make this deal happen. Now, it would definitely be in Twitter's favor to try to make this seem as illegitimate as possible. But at the end of the day, I would suffice to say that this is probably very, very accurate, and it wouldn't surprise me that something like this was going down at Twitter. It says they don't know what data they have, where it lives, and where it came from, so unsurprisingly, they can't protect it, Zatko said. It doesn't matter who has keys if there are no locks. Twitter leadership ignored its engineers, he said, in part because their executive incentives led them to prioritize profit over security. I'm sure they'll be getting a ton of money from other countries. Who wouldn't want to be involved in Twitter? Can you imagine the amount of data that you can get from Twitter users? Are you kidding me? That's worth more money than anything, I would imagine. In a statement, Twitter said its hiring process is independent of any foreign influence and access to data is managed through a host of measures, including background checks, access controls and monitoring and detection systems and processes. One issue that didn't come up in the hearing was the question of whether Twitter is accurately counting its active users, an important metric for its advertisers. Tesla CEO Elon Musk, who is trying to get out of the $44 billion deal to buy Twitter, has argued without evidence that many of Twitter's roughly 238 million daily users are fake or malicious accounts, aka spam bots. Now, I wouldn't say there's no evidence, okay? I wouldn't say there's no evidence. I know AP is a left-leaning platform, and I know they suck on Twitter's titties. I get it. But I would say that there is definitely evidence to support Elon Musk's claims, and if he's willing to go to court over it, you bet your ass off that he's willing to bank on what he's trying to say. But until the proceedings of the court actually find out which side is telling the truth on which numbers or whatever, we're never really gonna know. So until that comes out, it's just hearsay. Admittingly, it's just hearsay for right now. Even so, that doesn't mean that Musk won't use Zatko's allegation that Twitter was disinterested in removing bots to try to bolster his argument for walking away from the deal. 
said insider intelligence analyst Jasmine Enberg. The Delaware judge overseeing the case ruled last week that Musk can include new evidence related to Zatko's allegations in the high-stakes trial, which is start, uh, set to start October 17th. During the hearing, Musk tweeted a popcorn emoji, often used to suggest that one is sitting back in anticipation of unfolding drama. Separately on Tuesday, uh, Twitter shareholders voted overwhelmingly to approve the deal. According to multiple media reports, shareholders have been voting remotely on the issue for weeks. The vote was largely a formality, particularly given Musk's efforts to nullify the deal, although it does clear a legal hurdle, a hurdle to closing the sale. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if the shareholders are so desperately wanting this deal to go through, because listen, they, Elon Musk is going to buy Twitter at a premium. This is, this is what's going to happen. And I believe that Twitter's share has been falling. Let's check on that really quick before I put my foot in my mouth. Let's see. Twitter shares. Let's see. Let's see if it's been falling. Yeah, so check this out. So Twitter's shares have actually been falling. It was at a $42 high, which hasn't really changed that much. If you look at the actual numbers, it's $42.40 per share, and then it dropped to roughly about $42.20 per share. So it really only dropped a few cents, but it's been pretty steady ever since it's dropped. But there are signs of it dropping little by little. So it's not a massive drop, okay? Really, at the end of the day, it's not a massive drop. This whole graph makes it seem much more aggressive than it actually is. But at the end of the day, Twitter's share is still dropping, and Elon Musk will be paying a premium for it. That's just how it works. It says, Zatko's message echoed one brought to Congress against other social media giant last year. But unlike the Facebook whistleblower, Francis Hogg and Zatko hasn't brought troves of internal documents to back up its claims. Zacco was the head of security for the influential platform until he was fired earlier this year. He filed a whistleblower complaint in July with Congress, the Justice Department, the Federal Trade Commission, and the Securities and Exchange Commission. Among his most serious accusations is that Twitter violated the terms of a 2011 FTC settlement by falsely claiming that it had put stronger measures in place to protect the security and privacy of its users. That could be absolutely true, too. Would not surprise me in the slightest, and Twitter would not be the first person to do that especially regarding the FTC. I remember when the FTC came and slammed down on YouTube for the whole fucking nonsense that YouTube had with the advertisers in the first ad apocalypse. So it would not surprise me at all if something like this actually went down. So it says, unknown to Twitter users, there's far more of their personal information disclosed than they, or sometimes even Twitter itself, realizes, Zatko testified. He said Twitter did not address basic systematic failures brought forward by the company engineers. The FTC has been a little over its head and far behind European counterparts in policing the sort of privacy violations that have occurred at Twitter, Zatko said. So listen, I, I honestly, this is just a, it's going to be a quick story. I didn't want to go too deep into this because it's still basically unfolding. It's still, it's still a whistleblower. You got to take it for what it is. It's not necessarily guaranteed to be true, but I don't see the reason why he would lie. Then again, he was fired supposedly in this whole nonsense. You can claim vengeance, whatever. But it wouldn't surprise me if Twitter did have a lack of security measures put in place. This is something that has been argued for multiple social media platforms. It's not just Twitter. It's like TikTok and everything was a big one, too, I remember. So it wouldn't surprise me that something like this would actually be true. Now, what he's saying about the FTC, that's something that we're going to have to see with time coming up. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, consider leaving me a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video. Comment, let me know we thought a taste story, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.